Welcome to Ransom Radix Interviews, Season 1. Uh, today I got a guest with me, Joost from Sunday Finance. And welcome, Joost. Maybe you introduce yourself to the community. Thank you, Christoph. It's a pleasure being here, first of all. Um, I'm Joost, Joost Salara. I am the founder of Sunday Finance and uh, currently live in Amsterdam. Awesome. So could you paint the audience a picture of your journey before you founded the project? Yeah, of course. Um, so I have an academic background in quantitative finance. I've studied a bachelor's in finance and a master's in quantitative finance in Amsterdam, the University of Amsterdam. So I, I think that really laid the foundation of my financial knowledge, the theory behind financial instruments and also the technical side uh, behind financial, financial modeling, for instance. Um, and thereafter, I've uh, pursued a uh, professional career in uh, risk model engineering, which basically entails that I implement risk models in, uh, in a Dutch bank. Uh, so there I got a bit introduced into the more of the practical side of finance uh, and also the software development side of things because in the end a credit risk model needs to be translated into a, a software engine. Um, so that basically gave me on the one hand the foundation and the theory behind finance and on the other hand, other hand the more practical side of things to actually be able to uh, develop and implement a financial concept. Wow, sounds really amazing. So let's dive into the heart of the matter. Could you share with us the primary vision that steered the creation of your project? Yeah, of course. Um, so I think everything originated, like at least the concept behind Sunday Finance originated behind the idea that, uh, in my opinion, um, staking is the main value proposition that a proof of stake network uh, provides. Um, so my whole uh, idea revolved around this concept, like how can I actually utilize this further? How can I uh, create further benefit to the people that actually stake? Um, because, in my opinion, the, of course, the, asset, the assets that you provide to the network, they provide security, but the, secure, the, the staking rewards that you earn on top of that, they are quite passive. They're not really used as actively as the assets that you lock down. Um, so that was basically the main idea that brought me to the concept of what if we actually extract those staking rewards, put them in a liquidity pool, and uh, make them uh, available to the community or uh, utilize them further by um, providing certain lending products on top of them and thereby earning further uh, interest. Okay, I think the community is going to be really interested in that. So what unique qualities distinguish your project in the wider DeFi ecosystem? So I think it's mainly that concept. I think it's quite unprecedented that staking rewards are actually utilized further uh, during the actual staking activity. Um, that's first of all, and I think it's also the combination of um, actually collecting liquidity fire staking awards and offering flash loans on top of them uh, due to the short maturity of flash loans and the gradual accumulation of staking awards. I think that's quite a good um, uh, marriage, so to say. It sounds like a massive project. As a senior founder, how do you find to, uh, how hard did you find to create a project on Relics like this? Well, um, I have a background in Python, so um, the translation that I need to make to actually be able to program in Rust and thereby uh, program in Scripto was quite easy going for me. I think the whole backend side of things was, uh, was rather a smooth process in my opinion. So to actually in implement uh, the conceptual part of my ID uh, went quite smooth for me, to be honest. Um, Scripto offered quite a, an easy going, smooth developer experience, uh, but it's been mainly the front end side of things that I find most challenging part of um, uh, initializing any kind of project, like actually marketing your ID toward the wider public, convincing people that it is a valuable product. And as it's a quite an unprecedented idea, I suppose, people are quite um, intrigued by it. And um, uh, maybe there is a, also a bit of a learning curve for people to understand its, pro its potential and its value. Um, and that's been uh, the most challenging part, I, uh, I must admit. Okay, sounds really interesting. I know to how it is to promote things that haven't been there yet. And people are always excited to hear about that. Um, what key milestones or aha moments have defined your project's trajectory from its inception to where it is today? Well, it's, it's been, first of all, I think it was the, the fact that the concept behind this idea was actually realistic. Um, there was quite a milestone, in my opinion, to uh, get all the, the puzzles together and see, okay, this is actually, uh, this is, Capable, we're capable of actually building something like this on top of Redix. Um, so I think that was a major milestone in my uh, journey as so far. Um, now that the concept has actually been implemented in the test environment, that's been the second uh, milestone, I, I, I would say. 
so everything is up and working in the, in the test environment, of course. Um, yeah. And could you share with us when you're planning to go live? I plan to go live shortly after the Redix Babylon release, of course, um, which will probably be somewhere mid October. Mm, amazing. So now before we wrap up, um, where can the community find you or which is the best channel to reach you? So Sunday Finance hosts uh, multiple channels. So first of all, there's a Telegram, Discord and also a Twitter account. Um, so I think the best thing for anyone to get introduced to the project is to, um, to get into our uh, Telegram channel. Yeah, we will make sure to put this also in our description. And is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, not really. I will add, yeah, one thing actually. Um, I'm very passionate and also excited about the whole concept that we are currently building. Um, I really believe that Sunday can actually impose a, a prominent role in the Redux ecosystem in the future. Um, so if you're just like me sharing the vision that staking rewards can be utilized further, that there's actually more value to be gained from this concept, then please uh, give us a visit and, and keep an eye on us because there's a lot of exciting uh, stuff in the pipelines. Amazing. I see it the same way. That's why I brought you in for a Runs on Radix interview. Thank you for participating and see you next time. Thank you, Christoph. Pleasure. Thank you.